It's a privilege and an honor to present to you our first speaker, future priest Dwight Buffalo Hawkins. Shabbat shalom, everyone. You may be seated. May the peace of Yahweh be with each and every one of you. My title today is Yahweh is making us into a golden priesthood, and Yahweh is making us into this golden priesthood through his last day's witness and sends messages to his last day's witness through the signs in the clouds. Yahweh is purifying us like gold, and when he is finished, we will come forth as gold. If you would turn over to page 424 in your book of Yahweh. We're going to read from the book of Eob. And Eob is a man who went through many tests and trials. Yahweh tested him to see if he would go the way of life or the way of death. Eob 23 verse 10. It says, but he knows the way that I take, and when he has finished trying me, I will come forth as gold. So Yahweh knows the way that we take. He is watching us closely to see if we will go this way of life or the way of death. And when he has finished trying us and when he knows that we are ready to get this golden position, we will come forth as gold. Verse 11 says, My foot has closely followed his steps, his way I have kept, and I have not turned aside. That can be us. We can closely follow his laws, keep his laws, and not turn aside from them. Eob, Eob did this right here. He followed Yahweh's laws. He referenced Yahweh and he shunned evil. If you would turn to page 426 in your book of Yahweh, Eob 28, verse 12 to 17, it says, But wisdom, where can it be found? Where is the place of understanding? The place of understanding is right here. That's where wisdom is found, is right here at the house of Yahweh. Verse 13, man does not comprehend wisdom's value, nor is it found in the land of the living. Verse 14, the deep says, it is not in me. The sea says, it is not with me. Verse 15 says, it may not be purchased with gold, nor man's price be weighed in silver. It can neither be bought for gold, nor precious stones. But it's only the gift of Yahweh. The gift of Yahweh is understanding. It cannot be valued with gold. You can't buy it with gold. In Acts 8, it talks about where Simon tried to buy Holy Spirit from Kepha with money, from Kepha and Yachnan with money. Verse 18 says, Acts 8 verse 18 says, And when Simon realized that through the laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money, saying, Give me this power also, that on whoever I may lay hands, he may receive the Holy Spirit. Verse 20, But Kepha said to him, May your money perish with you, because you thought the gift of Yahweh could be purchased with money. You neither have part nor lot in this matter, for your heart is not right in the sight of Yahweh. It doesn't work that way. You can't purchase wisdom with money. You have to earn wisdom by coming here and listening to the teachings of Yeshua Hawkins. If 
you would turn back to page 426. Verse 16 says, It cannot be valued in the gold of Ophir, nor precious onyx or sapphire. Neither gold nor crystal can equal it, nor can it be exchanged for jewelry of fine gold. If you would turn over to page 506 in your book of Yahweh, Proverbs 17, verse 3, it says, Like the refining pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so Yahweh tests the minds of men. Yahweh is testing our minds to see if we would go the way of death or the way of life. Pastor had a vision on 7-7-0-7, and this vision was gold flakes falling. He woke up early in the morning and he saw gold flakes falling. And when the priest did an interpretation, this is 7-14-0-7, sermon, pages 3 and 4, on the seventh book of Yeshua, part 2. And one of the last things he said is, and what this term means, brethren, is Yahweh Kodesh Ruach Shafet, or Yahweh's Spirit Holy poured out. So that's it. Praise Yahweh. It didn't say when, it just said it'll pour out. But we know that's something we have to look forward to here very, very shortly. We already have one gift of the Spirit Holy, and that's to be able to listen to Yeshua Hawkins and learn Yahweh's ways. The great overseer Yeshua Hawkins also did an interpretation. This is from the sermon 102007, the seventh book of Yeshua, part 2, verse 13. And it says, And I believe that these gold flakes, the vision that I saw, I believe that Yahweh is making you into gold. Yahweh is making us into gold. He says, I'll purify you like gold. And like you know the city, Yahweh Shema, that he said the streets are solid gold. Here as crystal. You can see through it. So everyone, I would like you to remember that we have to strive to earn this golden position. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to the next speaker. I would like you to remember all that we went over today. Thank you.